Esri City Engine Software has a starring role in the Oscar-nominated film Blade Runner 2049. I talked to Taisha Wainey and Richard Hoover about how they worked together to create futuristic images of Las Vegas for the film. Hi Taisha, what exactly is Esri City Engine Software and how is Framestore using it? The easiest way to probably explain um, what Esri City Engine does is essentially, you know, you can, you can very easily um, turn 2D data into 3D data. And um, yeah, well, City Engine's a great tool to, to quickly do that and then, you know, create things that are visually appealing. And um, yeah, obviously it can be used in a lot of different contexts. So um, yeah, you mentioned Framestore, obviously on the one hand you have this entertainment industry um, that is using it more and more, which is obviously very exciting for us. And on the other hand, you've got the, the GIS urban planners, architects, um, sort of that field. Um, that is using is using City Engine just because you can really like create great 3D cities um, really quickly with City Engine. That's awesome. So how is City Engine being used for special effects? Sure. Like we have we have different pipelines um, depending on the different tools that the visual effect artists use, um, and we have our, some of our lead developers here that work um, very closely as well with um, some of the some of the VFX studios to really sort of fine tune this pipeline so that it is you know as easy as possible for for the artists on the other end um, to to use City Engine and you know to render it in in whatever engine they're doing their renderings in. Um, yeah, and that's sort of, so yeah, we have, we have people working closely um, with, with the visual effects industry to sort of allow that to happen easily. Taisha, is this the first time that Esri software has been used for special effects in a film? No, no, um, it's been used. Uh, so one of the other more notable ones for sure, it was also Zootopia. Um, so it was used in Zootopia, um, which, was, which was also a really cool story. We had Brandon Jarrett, um, from Disney Pixar at our user conference last year, um, giving a keynote speech, um, and that was really well well received. And um, yeah, it's obviously it's obviously a cool story. So there was the whole thing around Zootopia, and um, yeah, a couple of other movies in the past. Now, obviously, Blade Runner, um, which we're all very excited about. And um, yeah, there's also a few a few movies um, coming up that will be using City Engine as well, which is which is awesome. Okay, Richard. So what were some of the reasons why Framestore chose to use City Engine software for recreating the images of Las Vegas? Well, I, I think my approach was to base the environment on something that was real. So we used the USGA data of that area of Vegas to build the ground plane of, of the scene and the environment. So extruding that point data into something that was usable and simple geometry or whatever that City Engine performed very well at doing that. Have you used City Engine before or is this the first time? Uh, personally, yes. Uh, for Framestore, I don't know the answer to that. I, I believe so. I mean, um, DDA, the artist in charge of environment for the show, um, came up with um, the idea to use the software and used it himself. Richard, tell me a little bit about the sequence that you used it for. Yeah, I mean, it, it's about um, Ryan Gosling's character, Kay, uh, coming to uh, futuristic Vegas to try to find Harrison Ford's character. Um, and the city was supposedly bombed sometime in the past, and there was nuclear... Um, radiation in the city so supposedly no one was there so he parks his spinner outside the city and sends a drone into the city to explore and look for life and take readings uh, so that in the film that's the first scene we see of Vegas uh, is that drone's point of view and the, the uh, radioactive readings reading very low and it was okay for him to go in then we follow Kay exploring Vegas to ultimately find the Deckard's Hotel where Harrison was hiding. So uh, it was a combination of, again, starting with Vegas as we know it now and the Strip, and then building a futuristic city on top of that was based on Sid Mead 
kind of designs of architecture. But we still wanted some recognizable features from the current day Vegas so that people could identify, you know, the geography um, if they were familiar with Vegas now. Um, so, I mean, that's the gist of it, really. Were there any complications in trying to recreate a futuristic Las Vegas scene? Oh, well, it was an incredibly complicated landscape. Um, you know, uh, an enormous amount of geometry and items, you know, human scale items that we built to reinforce the scale. Um, you know, the Sydney buildings that we added were enormous scale. So we needed something that was people could relate to because there's nobody in the city. Everybody's gone. There are very little automobiles or anything to identify how big things are. Um, so that was the biggest sort of design struggle with selling the scene and making it look real. Will you use City Engine again? Well, I think, um, again, from my point of view, it worked flawlessly. I mean, it gave us exactly what we needed. Um, I didn't personally use it. You know, Diddy, the artist, used it himself, so I can't really comment on how quickly or well it, it did in a practical sense. But as far as the result and what I was shown and how it worked to perform what I needed and my direction, it was, it was great. 